Is that you, Pasquale? I beg your pardon? Is that uh, Pasquale Zobanek? No, it's Stan Zobanek here. Oh, well, is that your name? I thought your name was Pasquale Zobanek. I wasn't quite too sure. I forgot your name. It's so long since I spoke to you. Well, it has been a long while, Bruce, and we thought you might be dead. Well... Maybe we were hoping you would. You, look, I, I would be dead for quids. No, of course not. Now this, You're going to stay around and haunt us forever. This Mrs. Hanson... Apparently she's bought a house here in Canberra, mm -hmm. a multi-million dollar house, I'll tell you that. It's yes. what it looks like on the TV. Mm -hmm. And The house is worth 400000 odd so, Bruce. Well, it looks pretty, but, pretty bloody posh to me. Well, that's right. And, uh, Compared with your hovel that you live in. Her neighbours in that particular neighbourhood fear for their lives. Oh, rubbish. Words, that's exactly what it said on our television. Absolute you know, nonsense. They, Absolute uh, nonsense. Fear their lives now that Hanson has moved into their neighbourhood. I don't give a damn where Mrs. Hanson is, to be quite honest. I've got nothing to do with her. And also, I have it on good authority that Hanson is getting her funds from from John Howard's Liberal Party. Hanson's an independent Liberal, naturally. The funds Bruce, come from somewhere. Bruce, they come from Bruce, the... you're an idiot. You know what? You're an idiot. Funding uh, Pauline Hanson. There's no truth about it. Bruce, you're an idiot. Why should I be called an idiot? I'm because you are, you're certified. I'm the Liberal Party. You are, certi you are certifiable. You know what, Bruce? You're a very sick and demented person. You really are a very sick and demented person, and you're obviously in need of some sort of psychiatric help. You need a bloody psychiatrist, you bloody stark raven, bloody lunatic ratbag. You're the greatest bloody ratbag that's ever been on a radio station. You're not, you're, you're six months short of a bloody quid, you bloody idiot. I'm telling you, you're six months short of a bloody quid. You're a hopeless, pathetic, bloody little idiot. Why don't you do your uh, Woody Woodpecker impersonations again? That's that's sort of common sense there for you. But Bruce, just before you go, just before you go, why don't you give us that laugh again? <laughs> There you go, folks. There he is, the illiterate from Canberra, Bruce the Goose.